Hello and welcome to the first person character controller video. In this lesson, we're going to make the player game object move around with the WASD and arrow keys. Then we're going to slap a camera on it and set up the actual first person view with mouse control. Then at the end, we're going to set things up so the player speed can be affected by other things in the game. You don't have a game without user input. So it's time for you to learn how to use input actions. You see, there comes a time in every game developer's life where the first let's make a ground that we can walk on. I'll just create a plane here and we'll call it ground. Now we need the player object. So I'll create a capsule and I'll name it player or Amanda or Fernando or Cheongje. Make it taller by changing its Y scale from one to two. Unity's default unit of measurement is a meter, so setting it to two makes this character controller six feet tall. It's good to keep measurements consistent when you're building your game. We'll move it above the ground. We're only really creating this capsule as a visual reference for when we're building the game. You shouldn't be able to see this in the game, and so if you want, you can always deactivate the mesh renderer component right here. All right, so I'll add an FSM. I'm gonna call this FSM player movement. Now we're going to add a controller simple move action. Now it says this requires a character controller component. Could add one down here by clicking a component, or you can just simply click to add required component. You'll see that by default, the character controller height is set to two meters. Let's make the radius a little bigger. Something like 0.8 is good. You can see the radius over here indicated by the similar green collider lines like our capsule's own collider. You could turn off the capsule collider to see the character controller collider a little better. So we got the character controller on it. We hit play and you'll see that nothing happens no matter what we do. That's because our controller simple move action is waiting for input to this move vector part. Let's give it something to work with. That's where get axis vector comes in. So I'm gonna throw one of those in. Now we're going to store the vector in a new variable. Call it player move vector three. Now in the controller simple move for the move vector, select the variable we just created. Press play. And watch the capsule move around with the WASD keys. If you want to change the keys that control this, you can go up to edit project settings, and in your input manager, you'll see that the get axis vector is looking for two inputs, one for your horizontal movement called horizontal with a capital H and vertical movement called vertical with a capital V. The spelling is very important here, capitalization and all. These two inputs are represented here in the input manager and the buttons that control them are here. For horizontal, movement to the left is set in negative button and alt negative button. The reason it's negative is because on a grid, the horizontal axis is split into two sides and the side moving left from center is going into the negative. Likewise, movement to the right is set in positive button and alt positive button because on a grid, the horizontal axis going to the right counts up with positive numbers. Now it's time to create our first person camera movement. Right click on your player object and add a camera. I'm gonna call the camera player camera. You can see these lines here, sort of representing the view of the camera, starting right here at the base with this small square leading out into this big square here. So you can also see the icon, this gizmo that shows which direction the camera is pointing. I'm gonna move the camera up and just to the edge of the capsule. All right, select the player capsule and add a new FSM to it. Let's call this FSM player look. Can you guess what this is gonna do? It's not gonna give the player control over their ears. It's not gonna give the player control over their nose. Can you guess what the player look FSM is going to allow the player to control? Hit the edit button to start editing our player look FSM. Add a mouse look action. We're gonna specify the game object controls. Drag and drop the player camera in there. Change the axis to mouse Y only. This is so the camera only looks up and down. Press play. 
and you'll see that you can move around and look up and down. The reason we're restricting this camera to looking only up and down is because we're going to have a separate action to turn the whole capsule left and right with the mouse. So add another mouse look action. This time, keep the use owner because we want it to move the capsule and choose mouse X only. Now when we press play, the whole capsule turns with us and we can look left and right and up and down. Though there's a problem here. If we're holding forward, but then look to the left or right, we don't move in that direction. It's as if the body and head are not talking to each other and are completely independent. I had a friend who had that problem in real life. It was very difficult to go on walks with him. So that doesn't feel right, uh, but there's one simple thing we can do to fix it. If we go into the player movement FSM, and in the get axis vector action, there is a relative to value where you can drag and drop your player capsule. So that does exactly what it sounds like it does. It makes it so that moving forward is always relative to what forward is for the capsule. And the same principle goes for the other directions. To know which way is forward for your capsule, you can just take a look at the move arrows in your scene view. The blue arrow points to what Unity considers forward. So go ahead and press play now. Now you can see that moving forward will steer your character. Lastly, we can go over to the player look FSM and throw in a set mouse cursor. Set both hide cursor and lock cursor. So this way you don't accidentally click outside of the screen. This does exactly what it sounds like. It's locking the cursor in the middle of the screen and hiding it. Let me show you one last little thing in player movement. By default, the controller has you moving around pretty slow. The speed is set to one. You could change this to something a little higher by just punching it in. But an even better way to handle this would be to create a new variable. I'm gonna call it player speed. And then in the variables tab, we could set its default value. So I'm gonna put five. So now down the line, if you want things in your game to change how fast the player moves, you'll be able to reference that variable. Um, I'm just gonna set it to something completely reasonable like that. Light speed and sequence initiated. Press play. Yeah, that feels great. So in this tutorial, we learned how to create player movement with a controller simple move action and a character controller component. Then we learned how to look around and steer our player with a couple of mouse look actions that let us look up and down and steer the capsule left and right. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.